Hey friends, uh, Zach here, and I'm uh, sitting outside on this very beautiful sunny day, and I wanted to share a few words with you guys, share a little bit of uh, energy and idea and contemplation I just had. It all started with this mm. um, a candy wrapper, which I found when I was walking down the street, and I, I picked it up, and Generally, I think I'd be more, a little bit more predisposed to be start thinking about how I'm frustrated with the prevalence of high fructose corn syrup and such. Um, but today I was feeling a little bit more philosophical. And um, instead, I chose to, or, or I, instead I wound up thinking um, about how overstimulated <clears throat> we tend to fill ourselves, or we tend to fill ourselves with overstimulation. And what I mean by that is candy, for instance, I'm not here to talk down on anything. This isn't about candy, but it's about our general um, tendency as humans to fill our days with more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And this is like a very common trend <laughs> and something I think it's important to at least reflect on and be mindful of because there seems to be a direct correlation between our peace of mind on a regular basis and the amount of stimulus that we are programming ourselves to be uh, used to. So it's not that any one thing is inherently bad. I'm not speaking against television or against uh, you know sugary things or anything in particular here, but instead I'm encouraging everyone to be reflective of how much they are trying to fill their days with things and how much uh, conversely how much room are you leaving for the converse the uh, the stillness and the silence because you see in my experience when I train myself to be during periods of my life when I'm uh, very much filling myself up with stimulation and by that uh, I mean I would be possibly, you know, eating more food, listening to music very often, um, wanting to always talk and do things, like a very active, it's not that that's ever bad, but too much of that, um, when I find myself in a more silent situation or a silent atmosphere, I might actually be a little bit less comfortable in that just because of the fact that I have been training my brain and training my perception to be so comfortable with all the stimulus. And I don't think, personally, I don't really have a, a too drastic of a problem with this. And I hope, in, I hope that uh, none, none of you do, but it's definitely something that is very common in our culture. You can especially see it with children and, you know, things like ADD and ADHD or, you know, I mean, that, that's a whole another cup of tea. But ultimately, there's, there's a direct and obvious correlation to um, the amount of stimulus that we have on a regular basis and then our response as humans to situations which lack that amount of stimulus. So I guess the emphasis, the point I would like to convey ultimately is that you all deserve peace of mind, um, as do I, and it's important for us to maintain that because our society and our cultural trends are not maintaining our well-being for us in many ways. So whether it's maybe like not having to always have something sugary in your mouth to just keep your thoughts busy and keep your emotions satisfied or whether it's maybe like doing less coffee or something which is like a blatant stimulant or whether it's just maybe not having to blast music 24 7 maybe taking a little bit of time to like slowly integrate yourself into a more still mindset um just yeah consider the variables in your life and consider what you know what you might be able to do to make yourself a little bit happier and to be more um to be more predisposed to be satisfied with quiet and uh, still situations. So it's something that gets a better me from time to time. So I know I need a reminder and uh, I'm glad that this little candy wrapper served as the catalyst for just that reminder. Uh, have a blessed day, my friends.